Isn't this a beauty? Hello, everybody. Hi. Hello, everybody at home. You know what I'm sitting in? This is a replica of the very first motor car ever made. Only had three wheels. It's a bit like the one I've got now, actually. It's, <laughs> it's only got uh, three wheels. It, oh, it did yeah. a fantastic yeah. speed. It drove up to 15 miles per hour. Very fast. Uh, a terrific little engine. It was made by Mercedes Benz, by Mr. Benz. And uh, he uh, did a good job, too. You could still putt along with this one, couldn't you? Yeah. yeah. You know, what size do you think the longest car in the world is right now? You got any idea? Would you believe that there is a car that is 100 feet long and it actually lives? in Western Australia, and we've got some footage of it here, and it's the most incredible car you've ever seen. It's got a hot tub inside it. It's got a swimming pool and a putting green. There it is. Look at the wheels. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. And that's just the back section. Here comes the rest of the car. <laughs> Isn't that huge? It's nearly as big as an aeroplane. That's it. We're going to take a look inside it now. Look at that. And then inside, it's got its own theaterette. That's a theater. And it's got a putting green if you play golf, a swimming pool. This is inside a car. Can you believe it? And a hot tub. There it is. Magnificent motor car. It's worth a half a million bucks. And not only that, but it's got a four-poster bed inside it as well. Just incredible, in case you want to have a little bit of a snooze. And here comes the world's smallest car made by Ferrari. Here it comes, and Joey D is driving it. Go, Joey. Here he comes. Put it in gear. Oh, oh. Keep What a beauty. It's got the engine in the back. Yeah. Well, anybody want to go for a ride with Joey? Yes. Go on, you can hop in. Oh, oh no. <laughs> As you said, it's a car show tonight, and we've got a real ripper program for you. So come on, baby, drive my car. She said, baby, can't you see? Redhead up there in the middle. What a gorgeous looking girl. Hello, sweetheart. What's your name? What's her name? Lee. Liam. Ah, oh, and that now you're you oh, I see. The Liam's down the brother downstairs who doesn't like his sister getting all the attention. Hello, Claire. You beautiful girl. There's a, a very, very big week this week for an excited young boy from Tasmania. Because it's Mark's last show next week, because as you all know, he's going into Neighbours, which we're very excited about. And Mark comes from Tassie. Yes. And during the week, another young man came over from Tassie. As a matter of fact, we had a camera there when he arrived. A very exciting moment. The Abel Tasman, which you came over on yeah. as well. Great. We've got some footage of it <laughs> right here, I think. Loved it. Here it is. That's the Abel Tasman, and a very excited young boy arrived on the mainland Australia, and there he is. And that's the face you're going to be seeing on Young Talent Time for the next few years. Because that's the face of Jamie Churchill. 
And I think his car is just about arriving in the studio, so go and welcome him, kids. Oh, yes. Because it is a brand new team member we're welcoming tonight. And please, Australia, make him very, very welcome. For the first time on our show, here's Jamie Churchill. <laughs> Great, you have a good trip over? Yeah. You're over your nerves now? Yeah. Real, real man's man, young Jamie. Real oh, tough kid from Tassie. Yeah. Well, that's that's always the hardest one, the very first one, Jamie. And we're really, really happy to have you here. And your mum, where's Janine? Where are you, Nini? Give her a round of applause, too. Welcome to our madhouse. <laughs> Gorgeous lady, too, and a very important part of our stuff. Well, of course, you know, Jamie, that when you're on Young Talent Time, you've got to learn to sing, you've got to learn to dance, and you've got to learn to do all that sort of stuff and act a little bit too. And unfortunately or fortunately, whichever way you want to look at it, <laughs> you've got to have a partner as well. Now, this doesn't mean anything romantic or anything, but uh, your partner is Ricky Arnott. Do they look good together? and then come out fighting over there on your rostrum because you got to sing a song together as your partners, hey? Give them a round of applause, Jamie and Ricky, and here they go. Thank you. 